Welcome back to my channel, In Flight Music. If you're new here, my name is Ian, and today we are continuing our coloration plugin series with Speakers by AudioThing. Once again, I'm using Obsession from Synapse Audio. I actually have the same MIDI pulled up from my last tutorial, which I will link down below if you want to learn more about Obsession from Synapse Audio. Speakers is a hardware emulation plugin that emulates both microphones and speakers. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like without speakers on. So if you saw my Obsession tutorial, you know that it is a hardware emulation. So it's definitely giving you that analog feel. There's a lot of character and warmth in the sound, but now we're about to add even more character with speakers. And I'm just gonna go through some of the presets and then I'll go ahead and break down what's actually going on. So you could hear we have a wide variety of different results here, going from smooth and subtle to highly resonant to distorted and saturated to basically broken. There's a lot of glitchy effects, degradation, random noise that's happening, some filtering. So let me go over the different sections here. You can see that the main part of this plugin are these two windows right here. This first window is covering the different microphones. So if we click here, you'll see we have condensers, dynamics, miscellaneous, phones, and ribbon mics. You can also scroll through by hitting the different arrows here, left and right. Down here at the bottom, you can control the pitch, the echo, feedback, which is basically a delay section, the balance, which is panning, the mix, how much of the signal you want inside of the signal chain, and the overall output. And what's really cool here, they figured that you might want to invert the phase to sort of maintain the phase relationship between the two different signals that you're creating with the microphone and the radio. If you click this tool wrench, you actually have an EQ. So some of these presets will definitely create some heavy resonant frequencies. So you could use this EQ to just kind of dip in the different areas where you see resonances. And you could see that it even has a frequency analyzer for you to visually see where those peaks are coming. Here on the radio side, you can click here and you have different cabinets, devices, phones, radios, speakers, and even toys. They have a freaking Game Boy in here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But you have the same settings as the microphones. Down here at the bottom, you have even further control over the sound with the degradation. And this is basically the different types of distortion and glitch effects that we're hearing. So if we click on here, you'll see we have a distortion section and a degradation section. And depending on whether you're selecting degradation or distortion, you'll actually get slightly different knobs. So with this classic distortion, you have amount and gain. So definitely pay attention to the different settings here because these knobs will switch up depending on the type of degradation. Then you have this compressor. Compressor should be self-explanatory. The envelope is your attack and release settings and the amount is the amount of compression. You could think of it as the ratio or even the threshold. Then we have this filter. Right now it's off, let's go ahead and turn it on. You could select the type. You have a couple low passes, a couple high passes. Next to the filter, we have background noise, which is turned off as well. Let's go ahead and turn that on. I'm actually gonna turn off the degradation so we are only hearing the background noise. Right here is the hiss. So you have devices, you have places, organics, and noises. And then you could even add your own backgrounds. But let's go to organics, listen to the rain. Go to the next one. Let's switch up our speakers here. There's also a envelope here, which will turn off the background noise 
whenever your keys aren't playing. So let's go into the routing section. What's really cool about this routing, you could put this input anywhere and then you could lock that input so that it doesn't change when you start moving these things around. And as you can see, the filter is coming before the input. So let's go ahead and drag the filter over here after the speaker. And then let's add in the noise after, right before the filter as well. And you'll be able to hear that we can use our filter now. So that should give you a good idea of what speakers is capable of. They have a lot of presets here with cabinets, devices, lo-fi, and sound design. But I'm just going to end this tutorial by playing through some of the factory presets. If you have any questions, definitely comment down below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more upcoming videos. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.